what I've got to do with the spacers that I'm using is make sure we get this right. So to the thread, uh, it can go all the way down to there, you see. So that's about 35. And on this side, it should be about the same. Right, well, we'll make it up as we go along. I think it needs something a little bit more on this side. So I'm going to go with a random grinder disc thing. Let's get the motor in. So I'm trying to get these pretty much leveled up and then see what we've got. So really I could do with another bolt in this side. Oh, it's going off lob on. Stop, please, enough. Right, so let's try and get one more of this, this in. We can get away with that. It's probably a tiny bit too much, but I think we can get away with it. Let's just bolt it up and see what it's doing. So you can see now the idea of cutting those bits out gives us nice access. Could have maybe cut it a bit bigger, but it seems to have worked okay. Oh, I can hear the rattle. The rattle of the incoming juice. Yeah, we love it. One thing I have noticed is when I find the bolts, I'm going to have to uh, grind away a bit of that because a bolt isn't going to go over the top like that. I don't have any more M12 threaded bar, but I've got some M10. So I'm going to bolt these two together. Seem to be on a bit of a lean. Let me see if I can get a better angle. This one seems to be lowered down. That's something I have to keep an eye on. I'm going to try and find a bolt to go in here. Actually, let's just give it a try. I'm just going to give it a very light pedal for a minute and see how it goes. We know the motor's loaded with juice, but is the rubber thing going to work? Right, that's actually more vibratey, but it's less noisy, and it sure as hell felt like the motor was going round fairly easily. So apart from the annoying vibrations, that could be good to go. I'm actually going to find a bolt and put the weights on there for now, and let's see what happens with that. Those weights are going to shake around like crazy. Yeah, I think it's okay without those weights. I'm just going to go and make a bolt out of this M10 to squeeze those together. I had to use these plates because I didn't have any big enough washers. So I've got that tightened up. Let's see if it makes a difference to how it feels. I've got a feeling with my quality work on the tyre, it's going to feel pretty terrible. No, I can't see this. I can't see this malarkey lasting. I am going to get it connected up to the rectifier. So there are the three output motors from the three kilowatt bike motor to the rectifier and then to the controller malarkey. Unfortunately, the camera is situated quite close to the machine, which is going to rumble like a beast. So let's see what it does. If anything, it feels worse than before, not better. It's back to the drawing board with that. One thing I will say, somewhere I have a tub of this gasket sealant stuff, which is rubber. And if I can find that, I'm going to try bridging this gap because it's obviously the worst bit. Also, I haven't got it centralised on there, so I might try... This needs to come over to the left. Yeah, we need another washer in here, really, to bring the... You can see where the left side's closer than the right side is. There's a 
centimeters spare on this side but not on there so i'm going to go have a cup of tea 100 watts but yeah at the moment that's a no-go unless i can fix this bit it's so clunky cheers i've wedged a bit of rubber in there to try and uh, smooth it out a little bit and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover it in tape that is officially a bodge but that will soon get flattened out you'll notice i managed to get it centered a bit better thinking it's back to the drawing board. We've got a shelf full of them here. There's only a couple which feel really light and they're the black ones. So that feels pretty smooth, we'll go with this one. One thing I'm actually gonna do is, you see that bit sticking out there? I'm gonna cut that off with a grinder. It just seemed to get in the way last time, so that's why I've taken that off. This is what I've decided to go with for now. Uh, we've just got one arm with one bolt and a hilariously large washer. I've actually used a couple of the bits from the old hoverboards, which looks very cool, I think. And luckily, this washer of shame sits in there nicely to pretty much level everything up. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the motor we, we gave a good bashing to. I'm gonna get it hooked up to the rectifier the batteries are supposed to be on 26, but they're on 23. Okay, we'll see if we get any juice out of it. And remember, we're not using it with any kind of weight. Before, we had a large weight on here, didn't we? And we could get 300 watts out of it easily. But I think it's best just running. Well, we'll see, won't we? We shall see. This meter will not come on. It'll just be this one. Let's just see how, how beautiful it looks and sounds compared to the other one. Well, we've got 24 volts. Yeah, so keep an eye on this one. It seems to hit 24 volts at about 60 RPM, but I'll get my other camera. 60 RPM on my legs. That's about 60 RPM. Seeing as though this is the old motor, let's put the weight back on temporarily.